Damage Control Resuscitation DCR, is a comprehensive strategy used in the initial management of severely injured trauma patients who present with significant bleeding. The primary goal is to prevent or correct the lethal triad, low body temperature, acidosis, and impaired blood clotting. This approach differs from older methods that primarily focused on rapidly restoring blood pressure using large volumes of intravenous fluids. This strategy prioritizes two main actions, early control of bleeding and immediate restoration of the body's ability to clot blood. A key principle is to limit the use of clear intravenous fluids, known as crystalloids. Excessive crystalloid fluid can dilute the patient's clotting factors and blood cells, worsening their ability to form clots. Another important principle is the use of controlled low blood pressure, often referred to as permissive hypotension. This involves targeting a lower systolic blood pressure, typically between 80 and 100 millimeters of mercury, until the source of bleeding can be surgically controlled. An exception is made for patients with head injuries, who may require higher blood pressure to maintain adequate blood flow to the brain. Prompt and balanced transfusion of blood products is central to this strategy. The goal is to mimic the composition of whole blood as closely as possible. This often involves transfusing packed red blood cells, fresh frozen plasma, and platelets in a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. This balanced approach helps to quickly address the patient's inability to clot effectively. Early administration of tranexamic acid is also recommended. This medication helps to stabilize blood clots and reduce bleeding. Damage control resuscitation is closely linked with damage control surgery. In this surgical approach, the initial operation focuses on immediate, life-saving procedures to stop bleeding and control contamination. Definitive repairs are deferred until the patient's physiological condition has stabilized, allowing them to recover from the initial severe shock and coagulopathy.